Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Dave in the Man Cave. Well a few of your viewers out there have asked me to do um, a quick and small video on the motorcycle mover. Um, so I'm going to give just a couple of demonstrations. I've actually got two of them. I've got the turntable type and I've also got the one with wheels on it to move it around the workshop. Now these two items what I've got are probably the most two items what I actually do use in the workshop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how they work. Um, so we're just going to focus on these guys and girls. So we'll move that one out of the way and as you can see because I'm on um, paved stones it's not going to move around so easy. Now on flat ground, whether it's on concrete or timber, it's fantastic. Can't do without it. It's very good, especially when you're working in a tight space as well. And uh, of course the other one's just for turning the bike to make it more easier in tight spaces. Right, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how this one works before I take it out and show you properly. <laughs> brake for it and once that brakes on it it's not going anywhere so um, pretty good design so you can leave the brake on to take it off okay This is the guy, what it looks like, and as you can see, I've actually cut a bit out there with the plasma cutter because this bit of the stand, what sticks out where you put your foot on it for the pressure, it was actually in the way. So the next size up would have been better for this size bike, but um, I never actually considered that when I actually purchased per it. Per Take two. I didn't actually consider that when I purchased. Perch. Take three. I didn't actually consider that when I bought it on the internet. So I cut that out there. There's always a way around it on there. So I cut that bit out there and it works nicely now. And there's a nice rubber pad on it. And that rubber pad used to stop the metal to metal slipping on the motorcycle, motorcycle stand on the top of this and there's the brake the way it operates it's got four little legs with four little casters on it and that's how the brake operates there okay so now that's that one So then I got this. I got this on eBay a few years ago. In fact, my very, very first video that I ever done was actually demonstrating this. And when I put the video up, I thought, God, I hope no one watches it. I was that nervous. Anyway, aluminium, lightweight, non slip, turns fantastic. Nice little carrying handle. You can hang it up or slip it behind the door somewhere in a nice tight space. This one is used an awful lot. So now I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on this one. Um, I don't have the price of these two guys because um, I can't remember what I paid for them. But the quality of them and everything are fantastic. So I will say they, they would be a good seller. So check them out guys, this one was on eBay and the other one was somewhere on the internet. Dave, why don't you do your homework? Because I don't always think. But we'll crack on. Now throw it under there. And 
we just understand it's nice and simple and it sits on there now I believe this one comes in two sizes as well I'm not sure is that the big one or the small one um, at the time as I say I've had it a long long time it was my very first video when I was getting started out so uh, check that out I think it's actually on one of his shorts probably lasts about 15 seconds longest 15 seconds of my life right I'll give this a quick demonstration for you guys <laughs> and easy all you do push down on the back of the bike and give it a little turn obviously if your tank's not full it'll be lighter um, and if it is full that's when it comes in handy even more makes things an awful lot easier around the place do I recommend them I recommend them 100% that one Or that one. But um, in my case, I actually need the two of them because I am actually uh, got very little space where I do work on my bike. Um, so, guys, don't forget if you've not seen my channel before, please hit that notification button down below and give it a thumbs up and even better, subscribe. And um, if you know anyone in the motorcycle world out there, please share this video just to let them to know what I'm up about. Okay, thanks very much and check to you later.